using spherical coordinates. Let's do figure 4-2 and we're going to create a sphere. I'll create the sphere and, and I'm going to key in uh, it wants the center point at 7 comma 5 and I'll hit enter and the radius is going to be 1.5 I'll hit enter. I'm going to keep my uh, realistic on here. I'll go to conceptual uh, let's go with realistic. Um, we don't need to be in a wireframe. Uh, next, I'm going to draw a line using the spherical coordinates, just a regular old line. And I'm going to go and pick the center. See how I got the center snap on? I'm going to grab the center of the sphere and I'm going to key in these uh, spherical coordinates of, of at. Uh, 1.5 a less than symbol 30 degrees less than symbol 60 degrees I hit enter and you can see my line now is at the end end of this it's right on the surface of that globe and I'll hit enter and you can see, just see a little speck of it right there so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another sphere and this time I'm going to snap to the end of the line. So I'm going to shift right click. I'll say end point. I'm going to go right, right on the end of that end point. I pick it. That's the center of my sphere now. How big of a sphere do I want? They want a radius of 0.4. I hit enter. And now I end up with um, the version that's in C. So I just made a construction line in there. And you can see... Um, if I list all them objects, right? If I do a list, if I list all these objects, and there you'll see three are found, and one of them's a line, okay? So I used a line for construction. I just go and erase the line, if you will, and we use spherical coordinates to create this object on figure 4 2.